Hey there, and welcome back to Analogous. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the results from my first Holga film. Um, now, as I mentioned, uh, I showed you guys last time, I showed you some uh, preview shots, test shots of what I, I thought things were going to look like. So here are the test shots. I'm not sure why one doesn't want to open here, but I'll do an extra large icon. All right, so this was um, double exposure, double exposure, single single uh then we should have had a blank shot here uh underpass building 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 station all right so those are the pictures that we are expecting fortunately it doesn't want to open so i'll blow it up for you here okay so that's kind of what i was expecting um this is all these shots we're taking with my pixel 3. so let's see what happens um what happened? Actual photos, I got them from the lab. So I guess we'll start with the back here. Um, so this is the first shot. Uh, as you see, you can't see if this is a double exposure or not. Unfortunately, given the lighting of the room, um, right, that's what that ended up doing. Here is the shot of the next shot of the building from down below which looks pretty good I like the bokeh effect here now this I believe let me take, check my notes that's why I take notes um, this was photo number three okay um, huh, I, don't, I think this was the one person exposure so the focus is down here which is pretty good um, I don't know if Infinity would work on this close-up. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe I should have used Infinity. Um, but yeah, I like I like the bokeh effect here. Okay, here's another. I believe these are like the same scan. Maybe one JPEG and one non-JPEG. Right, so here is the next shot. I remember, I was trying to cut out that sign there. Um, Right, very low mography style. We can look at the grain. See, that's pixelated now, but about here we can still see the grain. So that's good. Now, these shots are a bit darker than what I expected. Uh, maybe I should have used the sunny mode. I'm not 100% sure. These are a bit darker. I believe for this one I also used uh, first person. Let me see, five. I did a group setting for this one, so we got that, a lot more of that, and all right, I think this would just be the TIFF. So here's the shot of the left rack city. Here is the pigeon that I got in there. Um, that's when I decided to hit the shot shutter. Now, I see some motion going on. I think one of the things, you see it's not super crisp here. So the focus is like right here. So things aren't super crisp. Maybe because I'm moving, it's moving too fast. There are a bunch of pigeons here you don't see. I kind of like that. That one there. It's a nice effect. Yeah, so this one I did. I don't know if I, if I did infinity here. I think I tried to. Because you see the building in the distance and you can kind of read it. slightly better. Ooh. Wow, this is surprisingly accurate. This I did, I think, first person focus. And remember, on this day, I did um, cloudy exposure. So compared to what I took, maybe we'll do a side by side if we can. Let me see if we can do that. Side by side with what was expected. So here's a side by side. As you can see, the sharpness is not there. We don't have the same sort of sharpness, right? We don't have as much detail. Alright. Now, this was two different days, too, but still, you get a nice. 
in there. Let's look at some of the detail. Right. It, it comes through just enough. It's not as sharp, but this is nice and dreamy. I, I, I kind of like that effect there. Spot on, you know, it's pretty good. Like, I didn't need this to be in focus, right? And, you know, this shot, I think, just makes it. Um, yeah, let me just go back to what I was expecting and what I got. Alright. So, obviously, ex my expectations were too high. Um, but at least, you know, if I get, like, maybe one shot, that's decent, usable. I kind of like these, this dreaminess to it, this smoothness. It's, it's like I'm applying a face filter on Instagram or something like that. So that's, that's dopey. I like it. So here's that one. We could compare side by side. I got a lot more light and a lot more brightness in this shot. Here, not as much. Maybe we can enhance it after the fact. Now here's the window. Wait, went the wrong way. Ah, oh, you can't see it. But you can see like the window. It's, it's I don't know. I, I kind of like that. Anywho, let's go back to where we were. Right. So here we were. I like this a lot. Let's take a look at this shot. This was very dark. Now, unfortunately, you see how we have, we can see all of this. Unfortunately, here we don't really see that. But it's still like an interesting shot. Um, this one just turned out to be a whole lot better. Um, now, I like how the camera here dis disguises some of these ceiling things. We don't need that. If I zoom in, I look at it, I think it's pretty good. Reminds me of Alexander Graham Bell movie or Edison movie from back in the day. Here's the other shot from the other way. See, you're still not getting that sharpness. And this was with the exposure out. Maybe if I left it open, I would have gotten something a little bit better. So in a dark space like this, bulb setting might have worked better. Um, definitely. Definitely. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to retake these shots, but wow, okay, where were we going? We were going this way. Here's the shot from up here. All right, I had a lot more clarity here. And we can zoom in and see the New York State Pavilion back there. Here we can very faintly make it out in the background, which is fine. Focus here was about group, so I focused here, everything else is blurred. Okay, next one. Oop. Maybe he redid it. Okay. So this was with the car, I actually was able to catch a car going. Hmm, interesting. I do feel like I don't hold the camera steady enough with some of these shots. Or maybe I should use a tripod. Hmm. And here's a subway station. I mean, is it below my expectation? Of course. Do I like it better? <laughs> um, surprisingly, yeah, I do like it. The dreamier quality better um, of this shot. Plus, I don't want to see this guy's face, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that's what came out of uh, the roll. I'm just gonna, I guess, go back through it all. I love how this shot I got, 
like a more contrasty one here. But yeah, um, the blank shot didn't make it. The shot that I took with my cat did not make it, um, unfortunately. I think you might be able to see my uh, my ear right there um, from the double exposure. So that's that's interesting. I got my ear right there. Um, wow. I'm, I'm kind of I see some swirls of my uh, jacket of my sweater there. Sweater. Um, but other than that because I took this shot second and not first, uh, you know, we have all this dark space. Wow. So let's just look at these by themselves. Can I do a full screen? There is no full screen on this, but wow. That one's nice. That one's nice. I might pop them into Lightroom and see what I could get. That one's nice as well. This one's pretty good. I like that one. Oh, this one's just my favorite. Look, you can see the grain on here. It's just nice, even, uniform film grain. Here are the pixels. See, this is what I was talking about when I said you want to get a high quality scan because a cheap quality scan, you'll, you'll see the pixels before you see the grain. But wow. That's immersive. That reminds me of Space Odyssey. This one was just terrible. Fortunately, the bulb setting. You can see like the faint outlines of the shadows, but it wasn't that good. I would have to bring that, uh, use my tripod and do a bulb setting on that and see what happens. This one, uh, definitely a disappointment. Too much sky, probably, in this shot. This one also is not, not what I was hoping it to be. But yeah, um, so next up, I'm gonna grab, go and get the film back um, from the people, and I'm gonna play with the film a bit. Um, see maybe if I could scan it myself and get a little bit better results. Probably not, but hey, first time for everything. What, what can I say? Was this money well spent? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. I, I like the results, much more artistic than I expected. Um, I like the the dreaminess quality to it. That's definitely what I wanted um, from this camera, dreaminess. Hopeful, I, I was hoping for a little bit more sharpness, uh, which is not what I'm getting here. But, um, you know, I got one shot that I like a lot, and this is it. Alright, so thank you for joining me today. Um, I sound very, I guess, enthusiastic about these photos. These just came in a few minutes ago. So I was really, I spent a whole week just like waiting, not doing anything. Um, but yeah, I, I really do enjoy these photos. Ho I hoped I could have gotten something a little bit more higher quality, but one photo out of 12 is pretty good. Um, so yeah. Alright, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll see you next time um, for some other photos. Take care.